is the Midnight Raven, and today we're doing another mystery bag from Sue Ryder. Not Bray, but Sue Ryder. This is bag number two now from Sue Ryder. So, what you get in here is similar to what I get from Break. So, Break, I pay £5 for 10 items in one size. And this is Sue Ryder in Great Yarmouth, where they're doing these mystery bags. And these are um, size 12 for 10 items for £3. Now, when I bought these, the day I went down to go get these, I was willing to pay £3 each. When I got there, the woman said that they were doing a couple of days where they were doing them for a pound each. So I was getting 10 items for a pound. Crazy, right? First, I'm paying 10 items for a fiver at break. Then I go down to Yarmouth to get 10 items for three quid, and I end up paying a pound. So I ended up, instead of getting just a couple of bags, I got five and ended up paying five pounds. Instead of paying 15 for five. So unbelievable value. But the question is, what do we get for our pound? Now, don't get me wrong, I would have quite happily paid £3 for 10 items. I pay £5 when I go to break, so I was quite prepared to pay 3 So what did we get for my pound? So first we got this really colourful top. Now, I don't know what size this is because they took the tag out, but I, I know it says it's a size 12, but I'm going to assume this is a size 10 because this looks incredibly small. In fact, it... <laughs> You might fit it on me. I think it's going to be a really short top, but it's colourful. It doesn't have any tag in it, though. I did look. There's no wash tag, no nothing. But if you want to be bright and colourful, then yeah. Okay, next. Ooh, we're going for yellow. So this is from George. So this is mainly going to be possibly summer slash autumn wear. So this is a I don't know if the camera is showing it, but this is bright yellow. It is one of those see-through overlay tops. I don't know if you can see that, but it is totally see-through. And it has this kind of beautiful flowery pattern, which isn't really to my, my particular fashion, but I can appreciate that somebody would enjoy wearing yellow. Okay, next we have just something a bit basic we have just a atmosphere stretchy vest nothing exciting but i actually do love these and i'll actually be keeping this one for myself i do love a stretchy vest i actually do have one under my top that i wear all the time and i don't actually own any gray ones mine are all black so i'm gonna keep this one so i have a stretchy vest can't complain at that. If you go to Primark, you pay a couple of quid for them. So that's more than the bag is worth anyway. Okay, next we're going a bit boho. This is boho chic. This is Lily. Lily and me. Lily and me. Size 12. And this is a cute little dress. And it's even got pockets. I don't know if you can see that. A cute little dress kind of reminds me of like 1960s hippie boho chic with the pattern and then it's obviously got these pockets which is a plus i mean who doesn't like pockets that looks quite chic okay next this is a bit more plain this is primark primark and this is an incredibly big top. Now, this is meant to be a size 12. I don't know about you, but this looks huge. <laughs> Does that look like a 12 to you? Does it say 12? This is a 12. Primark sizes are definitely all... If this is a 12, you fit two of me in it. But apparently it's a size 12. It is a big size 12. Now, I, I, Primark is iffy for sizes, to be honest. I think they go from, like, one extreme to the other. But, you know, if you like my hat as well, Shit Show Supervisor, you can actually get this on Timu. Not sponsored. I just thought I'd let you know. I'm wearing the hat because my hair is wet. 
and uh, I don't want you to see my terrible hair. So this is from Monsoon, and this is also, oh, this is a size 14. So this is a size 14 in a size 12 bag, but I guess maybe it, it does look a bit small. This is Monsoon. I've never really bought anything from Monsoon. I've been in there and I've looked and I've gone, mm, that's really my thing. But you know, each to their own. You've got this little tie knot thing at the front. You can't like everything you get in a mystery bag, because if you did, I'd have an entire wardrobe full of them. <laughs> I'd have an entire wardrobe full of this stuff. Okay, next we, oh wow, okay, so this is warehouse size 12, and this is, this is impressive. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I talk about, like, in your face. So we have, I think they're daisies, and spotty sleeves. What have we got at the bottom? Nothing, thank Christ. <laughs> wow. If you love flower power, Kew Gardens, maybe. Um, it's a little bit sheer as well, mind you. It's a little bit sheer. But if you want to rock this at, like, some festival, Coachella, eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Okay, moving on. Papaya. We like papaya stuff. I do love papaya as a clothing brand. This is a sh kind of white sheer overlay. You could wear this over your swimsuit, over your bikini. Um, I would suggest it is only a t-shirt. Is it isn't a full long um, one of these? So you'd have to walk around with your your bottoms on. But it is quite nice, nice fabric. It is clean. White is a terrible colour to get clean because you start going yellow after a while. But this is pure white. How many do we have left? Ooh, I think we have two left. Okay, two left. Okay, next one is, ooh, it's a little blue crossover top. This is, it just says linen, and it's a blue top. As you can see, it's got this flappy cross. I never get these crossover bits. I just, why can't you just have a normal top? I guess it adds something. Does it add something? I don't know. It's in a, like, muted blue colour. It's not black as what the camera is showing, it's kind of blue. I don't know if the camera is doing it just, I hate filming at night, but I've been so sick recently I had to film something. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Nothing really to write home about. Last item. Please, God up there, don't let me take anything out of this because I don't need anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this makes me wanted. This is from George, and this is gorgeous. Oh, I am home. <laughs> this is this is staying with me now. Now this is the kind of top that I'm talking about that I get from the Break Charity Shop. Good quality. Yes, it's only George, but look at this. It's got the little French frilly sleeve. This is certainly going to fit me like a glove. And the best thing about it is I'm, I'm going to hope it's a size 12 and it ain't going to come up too small. It is a size 12, which will be fine because I'm a size 8, 10. So it's going to be a little baggy, but we can deal with a little baggy. So this is going to be mine. <laughs> I found one item out of two bags so far. Only three to go. Hopefully I don't find anything else I want. But... Let me know what you think. So, 10 items for £3 is what they would normally be. I paid a pound on that day. They were doing some special offer for a few days, end of season kind of thing, I think, for Yama. And they were doing them for a pound. So, if you go to Sue Ryder in Great Yama, see whether you get them for a pound. I can't guarantee that. They were a pound maybe a week and a bit ago when I went. Um, they are £3 normally, but for 10 items at £3, you are still getting a bargain. At the Break Charity Shop in Swatham, I pay £5 for 10 items. So you are still effectively getting a bargain, even paying three. I I plan to keep this one. Um, but the rest will be on Vinted and Depop and Carb Boots. I will try and link my Vinted down below. Uh, I only post in the UK, mind you. If you want it abroad, I'm sorry, but postage is ridiculous 
But if you want to like and subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, support the channel with a PayPal super chat or super thanks, become a member, join my uh, little shit show, and I will see you all very soon for the other three bags that I only paid a pound for. Can't believe I paid a pound for these. And I will see you very soon. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.